So today I'm going to show you how to set up FFSplit for those of you who uh, wish to record your desktop. So first thing when you go and after you've installed the program, you're gonna it'll open up automatically if you want it to, or if you just open it up yourself. Uh, the first thing you're gonna want to do is under the Direct Show Video Source. I know I know you probably can't see my mouse, and that's one of the issues with the program. It is in beta, but moving on, uh, there's gonna be a little drop down in, drop down menu, and you're gonna want to select the FF Split Overlay which is what I have up there right now. Now with this setting, it allows you to record a specific window. So right now you see you're only going to be able to see the FF split uh, settings window. And then I can go ahead and I can move to Minecraft and then Minecraft now appears. So that's what the FF split overlay does. It also allows you to add like you can add like pictures if you want or you know if you have like a uh, some picture of yourself or something whatever or like video I believe I haven't tried it but I believe you can add a, a video of yourself while you're playing so we'll go ahead and we'll click on the settings there next to the drop down menu and so in here you're gonna check the box under other capt capture options and it uh, you're gonna check the box next to track window and then you're going to click active window it's going to automatically be there or you can specify if you want uh, and so this allows you to what it does is it, it it tracks the windows that are open and so I can go back to the FF split I can go back to this window or I can go you know back to Minecraft and then it shows you a little visual of what's what's being recorded and then in here there's other options like you can add an image if you want you can you can move it around put it wherever you want uh, so we're under the region camera yep see camera source I don't I don't have a, uh, a webcam otherwise I, I'd probably I'd try it out for you but I don't have one some other options see capture mouse pointer it is checked but it doesn't capture it it's in beta so keep that in mind you can uh, change your quality if you want. I'm just using medium for this video. And then there's like a little debug, a little debug menu. So again, we'll close that out. Go back to FF Split here. And then the other options: direct show audio source. Um, I haven't messed with it. It's set for Windows, so any Windows device it'll work fine, I guess. And then the microphone, I have a microphone selected so I can talk to you. Make sure your microphone is plugged in. The encode, encode settings, I haven't messed with that. You can change your resolution, your frame rate. I have it defaulted for 30. It's a pretty simple video at the moment. I'm not doing any gaming or anything. And then you can do, you need to change your audio, your channels. You can go mono, mono stereo. Uh, this, this program is built for streaming so you can stream to like Twitch and I believe it requires additional software but I haven't messed with it so I can't really help you out if you want me to explore it and try it out and see if it works yeah I can do that uh, I am a student so <laughs> I, I do have to pay attention to my homework and whatnot the other thing is for you to record you have to to record your hard drive and to edit videos, make sure you have this box uh, checked next to record to hard drive. And that'll put your file, of course, on your hard drive. And if you click the open folder, it just shows you like the videos that are recording. So this one at the moment is what I'm recording now. It's an MP4. And so next we'll go to the settings tab. And under here, uh, the first thing, FF split options, enable arrow. Now when you open the program, if you have arrow enabled, it will disable it for performance reasons. Uh, for me, I automatically have it turned off. I don't really care for it, so I don't use it. So you can enable it if you want. Now there's a debug console. You can check for updates. 
the next here recording folder you can change where you want to put your videos so if you have a specific minecraft folder SimCity folder whatever you can record there automatically there is a uh, you can change your formats FLV MKV and MP4 I have it set to MP4 I guess personal preference whatever you want online streaming options already discussed that temporary folder yeah and then you can at the bottom there you can change your volumes make it louder or whatever and so the other the other thing is under options you have an option to set your hotkeys uh, I believe I have mine set to control you can put it whatever you want and you can turn you can record you can stop recording you can mute your mic turn on your mic anything from a hotkey can be useful and so this program it is free it's uh, I believe it's open source it's in beta so there are issues and so the guy who who created XSplit or at least a developer of XSplit uh, decided he wanted to make it a, like a free version and so he created FFSplit and uh, it's a really nice program it's really simple to use it's really simple to set up you just kinda gotta get used to it but these are the settings that I use and it seems to work uh, there's also a sessions tab under here it'll show you like the length of the video so far uh, your frame rates file size you know usual stuff you can donate and uh, I think that's about it when it comes to the settings like I said it's simple very simple I like it there are some bugs the whole mouse thing but if you're doing Minecraft the mouse thing really doesn't matter so we'll go ahead and we'll do another test with Minecraft I I did one video already and let's see how this works so this is a world where I I created a cannon. Uh, I'm sure many of you who play Minecraft probably know how to make the cannon. I set up a little target here and was just having fun blowing stuff up. And I had watched a video of a guy who was building a, a super cannon, so I made my little own little mock up here. And so, yeah, there it is. If you have any questions, just go ahead and write a comment or send me a personal message you know, if you're if you're having some issues you know just let me know I can help you out for the most part and thanks for watching